Hey guys, it's Infinite. Today we're playing some Ground War Domination on launch. So, um, starting off this game, we are getting spawn raped. We get put in a game in progress. I guess it was 9 on 6 before we get here because it was me and two other friends. And we're getting spawn trapped badly. And me and Flanny primarily, Reed Wilson, my buddy from school. Well, they're both buddies from school, but Flanny's a pretty strong player. Reed's kind of bad, but it's okay. We love him. So... I make a pretty epic comeback here, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. It's it, it, sh it really shows how to play this map correctly, especially with only two people. And uh, I'm going to go over that a little bit. I'm going to talk about gameplay, actually. I know I don't do that much, but there's a few things I want to point out. But kicking off this commentary, I, um, I want to let you guys know a little bit about my class. I am using Ghost, Warlord, and Tac Mask Pro. The reason I'm using Tac Mask, or not, I don't have Tac, Tac Mask Pro. The reason I'm using Tac Mask is to get Tac Mask Pro. And I think right now where I'm at, I'm pretty close. I need a few more flashes, then I need to do the um, the Nova Gas, which is a pain in the ass. But So I want to talk a little bit about Ghost. Obviously, you guys know the Warlords, the Silence of Red Dot. That's pretty, you can see that right in front of your face. But the whole Ghost thing. Before I get flamed for the whole Ghost thing, I want to explain myself a little bit. So... After so much frustration with this game, frustration to the point where I didn't even play it for two or three months, I came into Ground War and used my same classes, my Ghost Free classes. Then I realized that the whole other team uses Ghost. Not the whole, I'm going to say 60, anywhere between 60 and 80% of lobbies use Ghost. So, when 60, 60 to 80% of the enemy team is using Ghost, that renders my UAV useless, so I only use Blackboard, Blackbird. And what I noticed is, when I'm using my flak jacket, or flak jacket or scavenger, whatever I'm using, they're all using UAVs for some reason. Because I guess out of nine people, you're guaranteed at least three to four of them. Or maybe even five, six. But you know, you're guaranteed at least a couple of them are going to be using UAVs. Well, then I notice that my team is all using Ghost, with the exception of three or four people. Well, when I'm one of three or four people who aren't using Ghost, and I'm most likely the only strong person out of that whole group that's not using ghost it becomes a problem and i get a nice little nice little kill kill streak going on over there but um it becomes a problem and i can't take being an aggressive player with <laughs> pretty much a marker on my head the whole game so i decided to use ghost from now on and it's going to be a standard for me i apologize for all you guys who are anti-ghost i know i'm a hypocrite i know i've trash ghost so much but i find this to be the only way i can play this game and not get mad at it and get consistent results so hope you guys don't mind i hope you guys understand and that's about it in terms of my perks but i want to talk a little bit about how i am commanding this map how i got us out of the hole that we were in and eventually end up winning so um as you guys just saw the area that i got the chopper gunner from looking over that i guess what we call them balconies that uh, have a have the whole left or right side of the map, depending which side you're looking from. You see that whole down that whole line of sight into each side spawn, and if you stay there and keep switching back and forth, whether they have C or A, you look into the opposite spawn. And if you have another teammate watching choke points, you're good to go because this map doesn't have that many choke points. So what I was doing was I was getting, I guess you'd call it like a half of a spawn trap. I was watching one way of coming out of the spawn or one of the more popular ways usually someone goes where i was looking at or they come around the other way usually they don't go through the middle but sometimes they do but people are pretty predictable so i'm watching balcony and my friend flanny me and him are communicating and i'm pretty much telling him with the exception of i'm not sure if i get this or not here but with the exception of a few flag caps he's going to be doing most of the work on b the reason for this is because I have the I have the defensive class where I can pick people off from a long range and be completely silent because I have the silencer and ghost. And he's got the 74U class so he can play really aggressive and make sure that B is safe. If I see people coming in at B while we have it and I feel like I'm going to get overrun and can't pick people off from the top, I'm going to say, Flanny, go to B and help me out. And it usually works. If you guys want to get a lot of kills and have a pretty high win percentage, you're gonna to want to use, you're gonna to want to play with 
only two or three people in Ground War, and you guys could all get killed. You're not going to be fighting for kills. And if you communicate right, I'm telling you, it'll work almost every time. And the key's not always running to the objective. Sometimes it's approaching it in the strategic manner that works. And communication's key. Like, like, like I said, I, I am probably the biggest reason we won this game, and I do very little with flag caps. So that's about it for gameplays, guys. For stuff regarding gameplay, I'm sorry if I bored you. But I just wanted to lay that out there for any new Ground War players. And one thing you're going to notice, probably have noticed already, I am not using my gamer tag. I'm using my brother's account, Extravagance. I stated this in a few other videos, but in case you guys missed those videos, I'm using his account because my stats on my account are pretty ridiculous. I have close to a 4 KD and over a 4 win loss. And I don't like to play Ground War at all because a lot of times you get disconnected. And I don't like to play unless I have a full team. So, from now on, when I play with my friends from school who don't really take this game too seriously, or when I play with subscribers or anything like that, I'm going to be playing on this account. And, you know what? Till, till uh, later notice, I'm going to be using this account for good for Black Ops. I'm only going to be playing Black Ops in this account. Everything else I'll be playing on my It's Infinite account, but this is what I'm going to be playing Black Ops on. So, um, I tweet pretty frequently. If I'm playing Ground War and I'm bored and I want more people to play with, I'll tweet it out. So um, be on the lookout for that because I am looking for people for people to play with. And um, that's about it, guys. This gameplay is wrapping up. You guys are going to see a Thunder moment coming up. I raged so hard right here. So here we go. It's going to be in slow-mo. I'm just going to be, be quiet and let you guys watch it. All right. <laughs> so one of those bullets should have hit him. Now, the reason I got so pissed off about this is because I was one short of my Blackbird. I got my Blackbird, the Chopper Gunner, and Dogs would have came. Could have got 20 or 30 more kills. So, um, from here, guys, I pretty much play really defensively. We had the win in the bag, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk messing this game up. So, I just sped it up for you guys. So, that is about it, guys. Please, in the comments below, I beg of you, give me some co um, topics to talk about. I am out of topics. I am drained of topics. And when you got so many videos in such a small amount of time, you run out of things to talk about. So please let me know in the comments below topics. It could be game-related. It could be life-related. It could be anything-related. Just, just let me know. All right. Final score here is 43-5. and five, And I'll talk to you guys next time. All right. See you later.